Hi everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's Lily Bell from Melbourne, Australia. So I'm pretty sure by now most of you that know of Random Guy Jeff or are friends with Jeff, you have found out the heartbreaking news that he has passed away. I I found out um sorry <clears throat> I'm in shock. I was I had just woken up because I had uh, slept most of the night which is unusual for me and all of the day up until about 4 p.m. And I was talking to uh, one of my good friends, Black Rose. She's a moderator to many well-known YouTubers and she's one of my best friends. And we both, uh, uh, she mentioned that one of my other friends that I have great respect for, Judy Wrong, uh, was on live and so I wanted to get on and catch him and support him and I was in there and so I was Black Rose moderating for Judy Ron when I received a notification, um, well an email actually from a friend of mine that heard that Carolyn, which is Mummy Rambling's blog, uh, that's her channel, and she is um, very close to Jeff, um, announcing of Jeff's passing. I uh, basically dropped everything from that live and went straight over for the first time since I left the Ramblers to find out what was going on and getting as much information as I could. I am in utter shock. It was only the day before that, again, I was sleeping and I had my YouTube just going and listening to different YouTubers. And I think the thing that woke me was um, I heard, I ended up in uh, the Rambler's room um, for some reason must have been a sign, maybe Jeff even, or God, wanting me to know. And I overheard Carolyn telling everyone that Jeff was gravely ill, his blood countlet was poor, and he was very lucky to be alive, that they had done some CAT scans on him and found... Um, many tumours and spots on his liver and it was said that he had stage 4 cancer. Uh, he was to be, um, if his blood count went up more obviously, um, they couldn't have done it otherwise, um, a biopsy and I'm not sure if it was a biopsy and an operation or just the operation was the biopsy procedure. So um, please don't quote me on that. So, of course, I did a quick video, which is, I looked absolutely disgusting in, but I didn't care. I just wanted to send my love to Jeff and all those that love him and those of you that are, are no longer in the community um, may not have known. And I know Jeff, Jeff has many, many friends in YouTube and many people that were were in the Ramblers that are no longer and he remained very close to, including myself, and supported and loved. And um, so I did make a video, a very quick rushed video, um, telling you and asking you all to pray for him and uh, his loved ones. And, I mean, it was, I do believe, and don't quote me again on this, um, 
that he had had pain and was in pain for a couple of weeks at least, but he, he thought it was his back. I also, and do not quote me on this, that another reason why he didn't get it looked at was because he didn't have insurance or enough insurance and was worried about the cost. Again, those things I just said aren't actual complete facts that I know of. It's just things I've heard. So please don't quote me on that. What you can quote me on is that he um, he was in a lot of pain. Uh, he ended up somehow, well, obviously losing a lot of blood that he got very dangerously low to death the day before. And they did do CAT scans on him. They did find cancer. They do not know even now what cancer it is. I know that they did do a biopsy and the results will be in the next five to seven days. And unfortunately, yes, it is true. Jeff passed away at 4 p.m. Missouri. Missouri? Is that how you say it? U.S. time. Um, his good, very close friend who's absolutely devastated, Heather, was with him and his son. Uh, he just couldn't hang on anymore. And um, it is a huge shock for everyone because, uh, I mean, he didn't even know that he was dying. <laughs> And now he's not here anymore. It's it's kind of surreal. And I feel, I don't know, I'm very, very numb. I'm upset, but I'm numb at the moment. It's going to hit me more later. Um, he, from the moment I heard his voice on the first live that he called into with Carolyn, I uh, fell in love with that um, that accent and that that deep voice and and the cheekiness of who he was. I could tell that he was a top guy, and I wanted to be friends with him. And it was so easy to be friends with him. I mean, even when everything happened, which is the past now. Um, I'm only bringing this up, that he stood beside me. Even though he was so close to Carolyn, he still stood beside me. He still supported me. He still loved me. He uh, stuck up for me a lot and gave me some really good advice. Um, would comment on my videos. One was extremely long and in depth, but I loved it. One of the last things he said to me was, um, and you can see it because they're on my videos, is he said um, he can't wait to see my backyard because, you know, he was into architecture and art and stuff and he loved my, um, my house tour. And he also said that he, uh, he really missed the, miss, misses the old ramblers before all the drama and he mentioned that to me many many times through email and um he just didn't like drama um I don't think well I don't think most of us do I think some do thrive off it um but a week ago I believed that he would never have thought that he would one, be diagnosed with cancer, two, be told that he's terminal, and three, that he would have passed away the day later. So it goes to show we are out of control of our destiny. And, um, and that's why I keep saying, and I'm not perfect, but I keep saying, and I've done videos of just trying to remind everyone that life is short and if you have an issue with someone to try and fix it and if you can't then let them go be kind 
let them go, wish them well, even if you're hurting, even if they've hurt you, because in the end, we're all human beings, we all have feelings, and one day we are all going to die. And I would hope no one that I have ever been friends with or even supported would ever wish death on a soul, even if you really dislike a person, because uh, I don't want to be around a person like that. I'm just saying. And all this drama that just keeps going on and on, it just seems so stupid and so silly when life is so fragile and precious. I mean, why get on YouTube and fight? Why get on YouTube and hate and harass and to just hurt? I really hope that 2020 brings more peace. Of course, there's always going to be trolls. There's always going to be someone that wants drama. Um, But there's been a lot, a lot more of late especially the past six months. And one thing I can tell, anyone will tell you about Jeff, it's one thing he did not like was drama, gossip and assumptions. And um, yes, he did get in and defend um, people that he really um, believed in and uh That's one quality I loved about him. Uh, I'm not going to say much more uh, because I'm struggling. Uh, Ten minutes after I found out about his passing, I got a phone call to say that um, my auntie is passing away. They're not taking her to the hospital. They're um, wanting her. She's on morphine. They're wanting her to pass away at home. So after she goes, basically there's only one other person left and then my dad will be the eldest on his side of the family out of everyone. And I will admit that's kind of scary because that's my dad and I appreciate every single moment that I'm with my parents because they're getting older and I'm blessed that Well, I may be sick, but it does give me a lot more time to be with my my parents. And um, life is precious, guys. Love fully. Love fully. And tell everyone that you you love, that you love them. Never go, um, never leave someone with a hateful message, even... If it's a friend that's hurt you, that is no longer your friend, wish them well, even if you're hurt inside. Deal with that when you in your own time, but let them go with kindness because if something happened to them soon after, I know most of you would be so upset. Remember the times you had with your friends. Things happen for a reason. Friends aren't always supposed to be there for the long term. And um, if you go and look at one of my videos, which I did actually do for Mummy Rambling's blog, Carolyn, many, many months ago, I actually did it for her. Um, uh, Not that I said it, but a lot of my friends knew who I was doing it about. Um... There's a poem that I read out and it's something that's really helped me about um, losing friendships and, and people in our lives and, and that people come into our lives for a reason. Jeff came into our lives for a reason. He came into my life for a reason and I am forever grateful for that. My love goes out to everyone that is grieving the loss of such an an amazing human being and 
I just want to read one one more thing out because I know I'm rambling. I'm really, really lost for words and I'm shocked and I'm going in between the shock and grief and it's kind of numb as well. Um, but I wanted to read this. This is um, on behalf of uh, before Jeff but also to those that are closest to Jeff or to anyone that's lost anyone um, recently. I give you this one thought to keep. I am with you still. I do not sleep. I am a thousand winds that blow. I am the diamond glints on the snow. I am the sunlight on ripened grain. I am the gentle autumn rain. When you awaken in the morning's hush, I am the swift, uplifting rush of quiet birds in circled flight. I am the soft stars that shine at night. Do not think of me as gone. I am with you still in each new dawn. God bless you, Jeff. May you be in peace and hope to see you one day in the flesh, so to speak. You will never, ever be forgotten. And thank you for being my friend. I love you, Jeff. God bless you. Mm. Rest in peace.